Mic check. Is the mic working? I'm just kidding. I already checked that it's working. Um, I hope you guys are well. I miss going to school and having class. Um, it's been taking me a while to find a Photoshop replacement that's web-based, that seem, that's user-friendly, and I think I found it, and we're gonna test it out today. All right, so this is gonna be what you guys have at the end. We're just gonna do a simple you know, cutout of an image, and then you're gonna type your name under it so I know that you did it, okay? So let's get started. I wanna try to make this video quick and easy. So first off, you gotta download the image that I posted and open up this photo p editor and then go to file new and then you have a bunch of different formats we're going to pick screen and just go to hd because i think your chromebook's about that size transparent background uh, we're going to keep the dpi low because i think it'll make the processing and it faster okay but you know me i like 300 dpi create and then the next thing you do is i'll only make a new layer File, place, open and place. Okay, I did that fast. File, open and place. Click, Apple, there you go. Apple's right here. You could download it and do it this way. Apple, copy, and then place. And you select the move tool, transform it and move it around, okay. Knows how to click that checkbox to transform it. Okay, that took me a while to find. So the transform, I hit that check mark just like in Photoshop. It's right there. If I there's no control T in this. If you do control T, you'll make a new tab in um, Chrome. Okay. So that's two ways that you can do this. You can open and place or you can copy and paste. I'm gonna do the one that I copy and paste just because it's ready. It's the right size. Delete the other one. All right, label Apple. Okay. And rasterize, if it isn't already. All right, oh, yeah. Okay, so next thing is you're gonna use the magic wand tool. You guys have the object selection, object selection tool, probably already selected. It looks like a little bean. You just click and hold and you go to magic wand, or you can just press the W twice and it'll take you to it. All right, make sure your tolerance is at like 20. Um, and I'll show you why right now, we'll zoom in. Oop. And if you zoom in and it looks funny like this, just click photo P real quick and start zooming in and it'll zoom in correctly. I had that issue earlier. All right, so tolerance is like how it samples the pixels that you're clicking, okay? So that's at tolerance 20. Let's try it at tolerance 80, 800, not 800. See how it kind of selected the apple and the light areas because it's pretty light like the background, okay? Now if I were to go up to like 150, oh, do not press control D, that was bad. It might select almost yeah, most of Apple, you see that? So tolerance like 20 was like the sweet spot for me, okay? Um, we'll try that one out. And hold shift after that and click in some of the darker shadow areas like I am right here, okay? I'm doing my best not to overlap too much onto the Apple so I don't create more work for myself later. Okay, that's really good. So I could delete that, right? And that's pretty good. Um, but we want to make a mask so that way if we need the original we can use it We don't harm it and Other reasons too Okay, so I'm gonna control Z or alt control Z to go back this software only goes back 20 I think spaces or 30 or something um, Steps because it's free If you want to pay for it, then I guess I would just pay for Photoshop at that point, but um, Where are we all right, so we're gonna make a mask Click this thing over here, add raster mask, boom. Oh no, the apple's gone. So we forgot to do a very important step. So we're gonna go back. We have to inverse our selection. We selected the white part, we need to select the apple. So select inverse, shift control I works. Click there. Now we need to use the brush tool, which is right here. 
you can click it or press the letter B. I have it at about 90 pixels, and then you wanna make sure you have black on top and white on bottom, okay? And there's some spots down here that I missed, so I'm gonna go and clean it up. When you paint with the color black, it erases. Okay. And what happens if you accidentally go over too much? You press, you know, press, but you make it white, and it'll put it back there for you. See, look at that. So white will add black will subtract okay so I'm gonna try to clean that up actually I can go back I hope I can go back hey okay okay and that's it um, basically done we just need to type in your name here click your name okay and then i don't need to export put it at the bottom don't put it over the apple file export as a png okay save um not sure why it won't let me change the name but i'm probably sure you had to do that at the beginning so one little drawback with this um when you're naming your stuff you need to name it at the beginning Okay, otherwise it's gonna be called whatever and you'll have to rename your projects a different way. But at the beginning, if you just go to file new and you type in whatever the name's supposed to be, I'm not gonna click it because it kept showing my address there. So I don't want that on this YouTube channel. But you click it and you type in whatever you want. Um, photo B tutorial. And then create that'll be okay if you do forget how it's really easy you just um let me go into my file here if i wanted to rename a file you just right click it and go to rename it's not a big deal okay back to the tutorial Okay, that's it. Okay, turn that in. Um, look for the next video. It's gonna be a little more complex um, cutout. Have a good day. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot. Stay safe and make good choices.